how can event professionals that are new to event measurement best dive in to measure the impact and ROI of their events? Yeah, I think ROI is a really interesting one. The term is never going to go away because it's ubiquitous. The reality of measuring uh, ROI is that it's very challenging in the event environment for a number of reasons. First of all, you've got the lead attribution challenge. And secondly, you've got the extent to which actually generating a direct business as a result of, say, a trade show or an event that you're running was even your primary objective. Quite often we see corporate participating in an event where it was perhaps fourth or fifth on their priority list for why they were at a show was to actually sell or generate leads. I think in, in, in that instance, you, you can already see that it's murky grounds measuring, you know, direct revenue as a result of an event being the kind of the hard measure of whether or not it's worth participating in the first place. You add to that the lead time for closing a deal and when the right time to measure the ROI is, and that's variable from one company to the next. It becomes pretty impossible even for a single business to come up with a methodology for calculating ROI. And so a lot of the talk nowadays in the industry is about measuring ROO, return on objectives. It's already becoming a, a buzzword. And it's, I think it's becoming a source of frustration for people because it's getting talked about so much. It seems elusive in terms of there being a ready-made methodology to calculate return on objectives. And so it's one of the things that we've spent a considerable amount of time working on at Explory. We've done a number of research pieces and focus groups with corporates to look at what a uh, scalable and repeatable methodology for measuring return on objectives looks like. We've actually built that into our max B product. So the trick is, however you look to calculate return on objectives, mm -hmm. you have to be able to prioritize what your objectives were and therefore weight your calculation based on what was most important to you. And you have to be able to set realistic targets for what your objectives were that have to be sufficiently measurable. Then you have to measure against those targets and be able to bring the data points together. They're the kind of, that's the crux of measuring return on objectives. And, and it's not necessarily simple, but it can be made simple. And it's, that's obviously, you know, what our raison d'etre is. What I would add to that is, and another way of saying a piece of what Mark said is, you really got to know what you want to measure and why it matters to you and the company, right? That's why I think I kind of started by saying like, like, why are you there? Like, do you draw net new business or do you not? We have customers that go to trade shows. They never draw net new business at that, at this one show. It's not why they're there. So trying to find a trade show as a lead source for net new business wouldn't be a good thing to measure, right? So you have to understand why you're there and you have to understand the impact that show is having. Sometimes I think they're super obvious. Sometimes I think they're not. And I would say for someone new that's starting, I think the complexities that you're going to run into that will confuse you or they confuse me or make me think, oh my God, this is going to be a headache is your sales cycle, the CRM, how big is the company? Big companies are complicated, right? You have so many multi-touch points and channels and whose lead is it and where did it come from? When did they talk to them? What's the lead source, right? All that stuff is going on. But I think to start new in events is I would go to an event or I would talk to people prior and I'd be thinking to myself, why are we truly here? Like, what is the value that this event we think gives to us? And then I would start thinking about tracking something that proves that value is happening if that makes any sense, is it number of meetings? Are you at a conference where executive, like most of what's happening is executive conversations. I've seen that with our clients, right? And they want to book as many meetings as they can. That's what they're trying to do. These meetings then create something on the flip side. So that's one way to measure. So I think it's trying to make it more simple than maybe you talk broad stroke. Like Mark said, it's, com it's complicated. It's not an easy thing and it's not easy to do. And that's why a lot of people don't do it and can't do it. But if, if you're not able to prioritize, like measurement and planning are their bedfellows, right? You need, when you're planning and making a decision to book a booth or to run any event or activation, you have to start with, you know, what outcomes would be attractive to us. And that's not just like a number of meetings, critical one, number of meetings with who, and like what's the expected outcome of those meetings, right? There's, and there's a host of other engagement metrics and things that you can plan for. It's not a given that, that corporates approach any exhibit with 
a prioritized list of of goals that they want to get out um, of exhibiting. There isn't, there, and this is what I would encourage program leads to do is to put a framework in place that every decision maker responsible for booking a booth, prior to booking that booth, give them a framework to help them actually decide what their objectives are that would make that um, exhibit successful for them. If you can decide from the get-go what the measurement needs to deliver, then you can actually you know, enter into that activity with a clear set of outcomes um, that you can truly measure against. And so that's you know, I, I really do think that the process for measurement starts in the rationale for actually deciding to do any event activity in the first place. The other side of things, you've got to measure impact, right? For me, it is it really is about you like engagement's one thing, right? And I'm not saying don't measure engagement. It can be useful to understand how people consumed certain elements of content in any given event, right? So it's definitely it's in the suite of data points to track. But what we're really looking for is impact. How did you impact intended behavior? How did you impact the uh, attitude of potential customers? How have you impacted purchasing intention? Or how have you impacted brand perception? This is really where speaking to your customers, we're surveying your customers or the people that you've met either at the booth or that have participated in your proprietary event. This is where the right kind of metrics asked the right way with a consistent methodology are going to be worth their weight in gold for actually creating a more consistent way of reporting findings back to the stakeholders that need that proof. That's yeah. the real key thing. How is the measurement digestible back to the stakeholders in the business that need the proof of value? Mark, you know what it makes me think of sometimes is when you can find these objectives and you can understand what this show, the inertia it gives you to create results that matter, right? And, and you can measure something and benchmark and at least gain some form of understanding. I mean, even if you don't have what we would call like quantitative data and years of it, you get qualitative data by even thinking that way. And I think that qualitative data before you have the quantitative, you have both, it's great. It allows you, it's what makes good event marketers, gives them the ability to make adjustments. It's what gives them the ability to change their approach, change shows, downsize a booth, increase a booth, get rid of a conference room that you never use that just sits there. And then when you ask, they're like, oh, how can we don't have any meetings? They're like, I don't know. We've always had it. I'm not sure. You know, it's like that. It's also, in my opinion, a way of thinking and a way of approaching shows. And I think the more that people can kind of get and wrap their minds around this, they can really, they can really drive the bus better, ultimately, with the events. 